good morning everyone it's a little bit cloudy today the sun was out a minute ago but now it's disappeared no worries the show goes on and um, today i weigh 102.4 which is the same as yesterday which is a little bit disappointing considering how little food i ate last night or yesterday even I just had 1500 calories for the whole day and yeah I mean I guess this is why it's good to look at averages like a seven day average rather than just look at your day to day weight because it can fluctuate for any number of reasons and if you just obsess over your scale weight for that one day you can end up um just getting demotivated or making changes to your plan when in fact everything is normal and you just need to zoom out a little bit so the plan today is back i believe what day is it tuesday is it tuesday today yeah it is i don't even know what day of the week it is <laughs> that's a common thing with uh, living in bali whoa check this thing out hello Turn this off. Wow. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's why you don't want to um, you lock on to me now. That's why you don't want to obsess over the scale. All right, guys, thought I'd leave you with that. I am going to grab a nice coffee, get some power in me. I'm ready to start the day. Okay, not gonna lie guys, I really cannot be bothered today. I feel like crap. Calories so low. But it's back day. So we just gotta suck it up. Quit being a little bitch and do some pull-ups. Maybe no failure today though. I've got doms in my arms for some reason, like my, bi my biceps hurting today. My legs are killing just from walking. Like when you put your calories down so low, you just feel like crap. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it today. I'm really not, not feeling it, but we're gonna get a session in regardless. Okay, step two. Okay, so second exercise, it's a neutral grip pull down because I didn't, I only did two sets on there of like eight reps. So I want to get, I want to do a bit more volume on a pull down exercise. Now I don't love this machine uh, because I'm too tall for it. You can see here, the weight's not even lifted off the stack yet. So to compensate, I've got to lean back, but that changes the exercise slightly. So it's less ideal, but I don't have much choice. I don't think this gym is the best for training back, to be honest. Might need to get another membership somewhere. Set two. Mm. 
Ah, okay, so exercise number three, the classic, classic back exercise, bent over barbell row. I've just got 60 on right now because I don't want to fatigue my body too much. I'm just going to see how this feels. Ah. Okay, set two. The reason why I'm doing this exercise next is I've done two, two pull down exercises. So you want to make sure you got a horizontal row in there. There's not many decent horizontal row machines in this gym, so you can never go wrong with a barbell. Set three. Okay, so every single back session, I like to have a unilateral movement, which is where you just work one side at a time, because I feel like I can get a better contraction on my back. I rarely do this exercise because I'm lazy to grab the bench, but if you grab a bench and then use that as support and then just roll back. Ooh. As you come back, you can twist slightly. They feel like contraction. Okay, set two.
chest pull and when you're doing this exercise you can either pull it to your face like this which is a face pull and that's going to target more of your upper back and your rear delts or you can pull to your chest which is going to target a little bit lower down which is what I want to do see I'm pulling to my chest here Okay, sit two. See, in the starting position, how I'm really stretched out. You might even be able to see all my back muscles kind of stretched. That is how I'm getting full range of motion. As I'm pulling back, I'm really feeling that squeeze here and pausing. And all the way back to the start again. Stretched out. Oh, I feel the squeeze. Stretched out. Feel the squeeze. So that is the workout done. That's all I'm gonna do. I feel like pretty fatigued today. Like I've just got sore joints, my leg hurts. That's a sign that my body has a lot of fatigue and I kind of just need to take it easy. Otherwise you're gonna end up making yourself ill or getting injured or whatever. That's still a good session. That's what, five exercises, pull-ups, pull-downs, bent over rows, single arm cable rows, and then chest pulls like my back is feeling it's feeling pretty worked to be honest i don't know how it looks but i would say considering my calories considering how i feel that is a produ productive back workout okay so day two of the meal prep they deliver the foods every day you can see here high protein macros fresh ingredients Less oil, no MSG. So for lunch, we have grilled fish with tomato sambal and rice. Let's have a look. Okay. Not bad, not bad. A little better once we heat this up though. Okay, so here we go. We got the fish, we got the sambal, which is like a local spicy sauce. It's so fucking spicy. Indonesians like their spicy food. Uh, egg, they swap that instead of tempeh because they don't eat tempeh. We got some uh, vegetables here and obviously a little bit of rice. I am so hungry right now that I can literally eat dog food and it tastes good. So this doesn't have to be that tasty for me to enjoy it. But let's see. Mmm. So good, actually. Macros for this meal. 71 protein, 
nine fats, 50 carbs, calories, 547. And the time is 2.30, first meal. It's dinner time, thank God, because I am absolutely starving. Here we have Peruvian chicken stir fry with potatoes. Looks like I've got potato mash instead of potatoes. I've also got an egg and some salad. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. Taste test. Mmm. I don't know whether I'm really, really hungry. Oh, this is really good. I think both, but this is definitely edible. I only wish I had like three or four extra portions, but this is good enough. I've also got some watermelon for dessert and that's it. Calories and macros for this meal. 65 protein, nine fats, 50 carbs. Total calories, 500. I've noticed when I put these uh, macros into my tracker, the calories come out a little bit different. Usually like 20 calories off, but no big deal. It's nice having these macros on here, uh, so I don't even have to worry about that either. Like meal, This kind of meal prep makes it so easy to diet because I don't have to think about what I'm gonna eat and I don't even have to think about tracking because everything's done for me. If you've got the budget for it, I'd highly recommend doing something like this.